in this video we are going to discuss about relational data model in dbms which can also be called as relational model also dbms means uh, rdbms only rdbms means relational database management system so dbms means relational database management system only why because nowadays we are using rdbms only so here uh, before rdbms before relational data model we have several other models like uh, uh, network data model hierarchical data model uh, but there are several disadvantages with those uh, models so in order to overcome those drawbacks a relational data model was introduced relational data model means uh, information will be stored in relations the name itself specifies the meaning so relational model means data will be stored in relations relation can also be called as table also so first here we know that uh, we can design the database by using the er diagram entity relationship uh, diagram entity relationship diagram so a database database design will be done using er diagram and after that that er diagram will be converted to the relation that er diagram will be converted to the tables and then those relations are implemented by using the sql in order to implement those relations uh, we use as rdbms sql so here here mainly we use as uh, uh, microsoft sql server microsoft sql server uh, next one is uh, oracle uh, next to db2 so mainly these three technologies are used in order to implement relations practically with the help of the sql so these three uses sql only okay uh, in this video uh, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, relational model concepts as well as properties of the relational model so now let us see uh, the concepts are various terminologies that are used in relational model and then we will see the properties so the first terminology is relation so what is a relation relation is nothing but a table so this table is called as a relation here name of the relation is student so this can also be called as student table relation and table both are same only so what is a table table means it is a collection of rows and columns so here we have so one row this is first row second row third row fourth row here we have four rows and three columns so this table is made up of four rows and three columns now let us see the next terminology attributes or fields or columns so attributes are nothing but the column names of the table here what are the column names rule number name marks so these are nothing but attributes these can also be called as fields also so rule number is one field name is another field marks is another field or we can call as column name also next one is tuple or row or record so tuple is nothing but uh, rows of a table or records of a table so this is the first tuple this is the first row this is the first record likewise uh, in this table we have four tuples or four records or four rows next terminology is domain so what is domain domain means the values which we entered in the table here for that uh, here we can call domain as a set of allowable attribute values a set of allowable attribute values here uh, we have to enforce some constraints on the corresponding columns uh, if you take rule number rule number must be an integer so rule number never be a string so that is the constraint so that is nothing but allowable values set of permitted values okay next if you take name name should contain this column should contain only strings only it should not contain any integers likewise if you take marks marks should be 
a number only it should not be a string so this is nothing but domain so one is domain ramesh is domain 8 is do 8 is domain all these values which we entered in the table is called as domain but in order to enter the value we have to follow some conditions some conditions set of allowable attribute values we have to follow some conditions okay that we will see in the integrity constraints so we need to follow some conditions like uh, rule number should be integer only a uh, name should be string only so we have to follow some conditions so this is about domain and the next one is relational scheme or this can also be called as relational schema so relational scheme relational schema both are same only relational schema means it is uh, made up of relation here what is the relation student is the relation and it contains attributes here what are the attributes rule number is one attribute and uh, colon and it contains domain also for rule number what is the domain it should be integer only rule number means it should be integer only comma what is the second one second attribute name colon what is the domain here what is the domain name means it should be string only comma marks so marks means it should be some number uh, let us take it as a real real so this is called as relational schema so relational schema mainly defines the relation okay relational schema is a combination of relation name and attributes with the corresponding domain every attribute is associated with some domain okay here rule number is associated with integer name is associated with string mox is associated with real so rule number means we have to enter only integer values name means we have to enter only string values mox means we have to enter only real values means some integer values also okay okay so this is about what is uh, relational instance now let us see the uh, relational scheme or uh, relational schema now let us see the next to terminology that is relational instance relational instance means a set of tuples is called as relational instance here the table contains uh, four four tuples so this is called as relational instance let the table contains six tuples let the table contains six rows then those six rows is called as relational instance so at a given time uh, a finite set of tuples is called as relational instance here the table contains four rows so these four rows will become the relational instance now let us see the next one degree of a relation so degree of a relation means how many columns are there here uh, number of attributes are uh, columns of the table here how many columns are there 1 2 3 so we can say that degree of the relation is 3 okay next one is cardinality of the relation cardinality means number of rows present in the relation so how many rows are there here four rows are there four records are there so cardinality of the relation is 4 so cardinality means number of rows various degree means number of columns okay next one is relational key or key key is mainly useful in order to uniquely identify a tuple here can we make name as a key no it is not possible why because several students may have the same name can we make mox as a key no why because several students may secure same mox but we can make rule number as the key by using the rule number we can identify the row so by using this one we can identify this row by using this two we can identify this row by using three we can identify this row by using four we can identify this row mainly we use as primary key uh, so this is about uh, relational model concepts here the data which is entered in the tuple so that can be called as uh, tuple variable so tuple variable means the data which we entered in the uh, table so 1 ramesh 80 2 mahesh 90 so all those are called as tuple variables now let us see about uh, properties of relational model here we have six properties are there let us see about those properties 
the first property of the relational model is each relation has unique name so here what is the name of the relation student so we can't give same name to multiple relations so we can't give same name to multiple relations relation names must be unique duplicate names are not allowed and the second property is each tuple is unique here each tuple is unique here what is the fourth row 4 siresh 85 uh, let the let the next row is 1 ramesh 80 so can we enter this row it is not possible why because here each tuple is unique each tuple is unique that means duplicate rows are not allowed 1 ramesh 80 that is already entered so we can't enter 1 ramesh 80 one more time why because here we use relations means we have to use the key we have to use the primary key so primary key means it should be unique so it should be unique okay so here we have one we can't enter another one here but in place of uh, this name and marks we can enter some other values there is no problem okay so here the important point is duplicate tuples are not allowed here we have one ramesh 80 so one ramesh 80 we can't enter like this okay and the next property is entries in any column have same domain entries in any column have same domain here what is the domain for this uh, uh, in, for this attribute for this column integer we have to enter only integer and what is the domain for this column we have to enter only strings so that is the point entries in any column have same domain and the next property is each attribute has unique name here what are the attributes rule number name box uh, we can't give uh, another attribute as rule number why because already our number is given for the first attribute okay so attribute names must also be unique so duplicate uh, names should not be given to the attributes and the next one is attribute values must be atomic attributes value must be atomic atomic means we can't divide that value into further okay uh, let we have uh, uh, let the name is Ramesh space Babu we can't divide Ramesh space Babu into two names uh, such as the first name is Ramesh second name is Babu so that is not possible here so further division of the attribute values is not possible attribute values must be atomic only so we can't divide that value further and the last property is order of the rows and columns is irrelevant here we have four rows such as 1 2 3 4 1 Ramesh 80 2 Mahesh 90 here we can enter in any order there is no problem first row may be 4 Suresh first row may be this uh, 4 Suresh 4 Suresh 85 second row may be 2 Mahesh 90 in any order we can uh, give the values there is no problem so this is about uh, introduction to relational data model this is about relational model in DBMS.